it's Mina, welcome back. Uh, today we're gonna be playing with something a little bit different for me, different than what I usually do. Uh, we just did a pour with some house paint that was kind of awesome and some of the Modern Masters paint. And we're gonna use those same paints today again, but we're gonna be doing kind of a marbling thing instead of a ring pour or anything like that. So this is a 20 by 20 canvas from the edge. I have taped the back and put my push pins in. It's all nice and level and smooth. Um, I have here bare house paint. This is paint and primer. It's a satin enamel in, in uh, Swiss coffee. And to this I have also added just a tiny bit of uh, Decor Art Americana Decor Satin Enamels in neutral beige. And I have added Floetrol and some water. So it's nice and thin, not leaving a mound at all, just sinking right away. So we're going to use that as our base coat. I also have Golden's Quinacridone Burnt Orange. And this one is Modern Masters in Olympic Gold. And this one is Modern Masters in Burnt Orange. And this one is Amsterdam Expert Series Indigo. Beautiful color. And then this one is also Modern Masters. This one is their Antique Bronze. So these are these three. Let's see if you can see them. So I have mixed these a little bit more concentrated because it is a thinner paint and not you know really, really expensive, good quality paint where you use a little bit. So I've used a lot more paint than I normally would because I do want that pigment because the white house paint is probably going to soak up some of that color. Okay, so we're going to go start by putting down this as a base coat. nice layer of paint on here and we're going to just play a little bit. So I do kind of want that marbling effect. Um, this is actually one of the hardest things for me because when it comes to paint and color, like especially colors I like, I get really greedy and I want to put a lot on there, which is the opposite of what we want this time. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to take my color and just do some ribbons through here. Tilt this out. Let's see what happens. Do, you, do I need the blue? Do you think? I mean, the blue would be cool too. Mm -hmm. stretch things out a little.
Gail's not happy that we're uh, that we're hiding. <laughs> Sorry, shelter. <laughs> So what we're doing here is basically getting rid of the extra house paint that's on there and hooking over the colors over the corners so that they can stretch out. Because when they stretch out, then they get thin on the edges and then they start to sell when you pull it back. So like right now we've just hooked that red over the corner and then take it back down the other direction. This top part was going to open up and thin out a little bit more and start to have some cells appear. jagged everything has sort of become but there's kind of cool stuff happening here at the same time you see a seahorse <laughs> and a dragon <laughs> and some flames wow and there's some cool selling happening back there that's really pretty i love that what do you think H.O.I.? i really like it do you? i do you're lost in it for a while Do you think it needs more tilting or not? Mm -hmm. I'm afraid if you tilt it more, it'll get more jagged. Well, isn't the, the house paint now. is going to do something cool. You see over here how the white is sort of eating that gold a yes. little bit? That's going to happen a little bit more with everything. Mm -hmm. See what's happening on the red over yeah, here? Not the gold it's like eating the colors a little bit, which is why I used colors that had a lot of pigment. It was really concentrated color. I like it like that though. It's kind of nifty. Is there anything I don't like? I could add a bam or two or a schmear. Ooh, you know what? Let's kind of do some. Oh, ooh, I can show my new boy. Careful your gloves. The towels are not cooperating. Okay, so, I got this cool little, it's actually a brownie spatula <laughs> with a scalloped blade and a silicone. So, I'm excited about this. And I'm wondering if those little indentations there might make any difference. I think we should smear like through that gold edge.
setting too. me to stop, I can feel it. <laughs> what? Stop. That's the people out there yelling at you. Oh, is that who I'm hearing? Yeah. having a hissy fit over here banging on this door.
Now I think I am gonna stop because I, I like it now. I like the composition. I like what's happening with the cells. I like the house paint. Actually, there's one part that I just want to do a little bit. Solid. This part's a little too solid too. Keep going, don't stop. <laughs> okay. Alright, so that's pretty cool. I like this a lot. Um, I like that I can see all of the individual colors. I like that it's not getting muddy at all. I love that burnt orange in there. I like the Modern Masters burnt orange. The indigo is always amazing. Um, where's the bronze? There's a little bit of bronze, but I guess the bronze is, yeah, I see the bronze. And that gold is really pretty too, so I like this. Let's see how it happens. I love what's happening in there with all those little itty bitty cells. I love all this. That's cool. Very cool. I like this little spatula thing. I'm gonna go wash it right away. <laughs> I just spent like 20 minutes washing spatulas before we started. Just get lazy and don't do them right away, and then they're really hard to clean. So do yourself a favor. Clean it right away. <laughs> all right. This was awesome. Um, I got this thing on Amazon. I will link it in the description box for you. Um, several of you have been asking about the plastic that we put on the table. I will also link that in the description box for you. As you see, when we started, I scraped the table into a cup. I have my drip sitting over there. Um, I do use them all the time. Um, we use the table two or three times. I change it for you guys, but I keep playing on it and painting on it even when we're not filming. So it gets changed when it needs to be changed, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this was a fun little experiment. I enjoyed this a lot. Um, I kind of want to do it on something big now. I'm going to have a 36 by 36 waiting for me inside, so you might be seeing that soon. But this was a lot of fun, and um, you know, it's so cool. I, I, I feel like I'm inspired by so many different artists that I watch. Karen Dershin, um, Gail Burston from Life and Splatters, Kathleen Osmore, Sarah Mack. I mean, just, you know, inspiration is everywhere. And I, I kind of feel like I'm sort of taking a little bit of all of their stuff and smearing it all together, if you will. <laughs> so this was really fun. I will show you when it's dry. I don't think it's going to change much more than this. I think these colors are going to stay vibrant because I did mix them really concentrated. Um, the white is doing, it's beautiful and shiny that it's not actually white, it's Swiss coffee. So it's cool. I'll show you guys what it's trying. Thank you so much for being here with us. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you soon. Okay. So this is a few days later and it's totally dry now. Um, I apologize for some technical difficulties we had with one of the camera angles. Um, the file didn't work. It was corrupted and we couldn't get the close-up shots to play. So, but I think it worked out anyways. Anyway, back to the painting. This one's pretty cool. Um, I really like that Swiss coffee house paint background. I think it's a beautiful color. Uh, I love the negative space in this one. I really love that Quinacridone Golden's burnt orange, but that's no surprise. Uh, I like the Modern Masters burnt orange too. I think it's a really pretty contrast between the two. I like all the little cells. The indigo is beautiful. I like that soft, sort of wispy, ethereal feeling that you get from the schmears and from the that type of swiping. I think it looks pretty cool. I love that gold, that gold, the Olympic gold is actually really sparkly and blingy, very cool stuff. I don't know if you guys can see it. I've actually been walking around the yard trying to find a place where the wind isn't blowing like crazy so you can actually hear me. <laughs> We've actually come back over to where the fountain is where we had our painted, our rock concert. <laughs> but I'll show you those in a second. But I like this piece. I think it turned out really cool. Very soft, kind of ethereal, floating. I love the metallic bling in there. Um, cool stuff. So thank you guys so much for being here with us today. Let me show you guys the rocks since they are right here, literally. And this is actually one of my favorite parts of the garden right now. I have my Aeoniums blooming which is a little sad, but you see the Mardi Gras and the sunburst and my echeverias in there. 
And there's one of our painted rocks. The other one is actually down there. Let's see if I can get out of there. Hmm? Cool stuff. A few more. <laughs> but they've lasted great. So it's really fun stuff. Anyways, and of course we have some irises blooming because the weather here outside of LA is a little bit crazy right now. It doesn't know what season it is. <laughs> Back to the painting. Thanks for being here, guys. I will see you for the next one. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye-bye.